guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. I'm back with another video. You guys, I took a week break, but I am back feeling better than ever. I'll tell you guys more about it when we start getting ready. Trying out a bunch of new makeup. I have so much stuff to try out and also just some of my old favorites. I'm finally going to be reviewing the Kylie makeup, the new setting powder, and also the new setting spray. So yeah, guys, let me know if there's any more makeup you guys want me to try out. Like always, you guys can DM me, snap me, or comment them below. And also, I have a Sephora haul. Let me know if you guys still want to see it. Let me know if I'm already like too late to doing it. So yeah, guys, without further ado, let's grab our sponges, makeup brushes, and get started. I'm wearing my wig again. I told you guys I was gonna lighten it up. I definitely did. Hopefully you guys can see it on camera. It's definitely a lot lighter and I am loving this highlights, you know. I love how I don't even need to damage my own hair to do them. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes really quickly. I'm just gonna be using my AOA Studio E130 brush. This is from Shop Miss A. This whole brush set is amazing and I think it's like $10 for 10 brushes. So I'm gonna go in with, of course, the matte of ochre paint pot what's new here um also you guys i know i completely missed last week but i have so many tests to take i just need two more and after that i'm done with the semester so congrats to everybody who's graduating this year congrats to college students high school students congrats to you let me know if you guys are graduating in the comments below but yeah guys i just finished the semester next week and I'm or not next week the week this week I'm completely finishing up so yeah thank you so much for everybody's patient with me on not being that active when it comes to social media I also you guys sometimes just do not feel like posting anything at all I go through weird moods when one day I'm feeling like super happy the next day I'm super sad it's completely weird I don't know I always been like that I do suffer from anxiety so when that happens I usually just want to block everyone and everything and just stay to myself so so, yeah anyways guys i'm gonna be using the beautiful palette by it's my ray ray this is the new bh cosmetics collab i absolutely love the color of it and look how beautiful the inside of it is so colorful so pretty so basically you get one row let me see if i can show you guys you get one row right here of the shimmers so shimmers here and then this other row it's mattes and you get the same colors i never seen that before and i really like it and i believe this palette's like 18 dollars which is not that bad because bh yeah seven it's really pigmented and really good quality i'm gonna start off by taking my favorite brush this is the jh 30 by morphe so i'm gonna go in and let's see let's start basic and go in with the color brick I'm going to be doing some yellow eyeshadow today because I'm wearing a yellow top, feeling inspired by that. Let's see, let's move this hair out of the way and I'm just going to, oh wow, see it's like pigmented. I'm going to go and put this in my crease, going in back and forth motions like this. And since this brush is so big, I can just go ahead and blend it out right here, see like away from the eye to give it that more blended look. I really like these colors because I feel like they're bringing the warmness more out of the hair that I'm wearing right now. It's just giving me like summer vibes. I really like how it's turning out to be. Okay, so this was, I'm just gonna grab this brush. This is the Sigma, what is this called? It has no name. Oh, never mind. The Sigma E30 brush. I need to go and get my eye exam again because my glasses completely broke and I haven't been wearing them and I just feel like it's just making my vision more fucked up. So yeah, I need to go do that. I feel like I need to go do a lot of stuff. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go in. Let's see. I'm going to go in with the yellow shade. Yeah, let's go ahead and ignore that blending brush let's switch the other side this is the sigma e58 brush and i'm just gonna go in and go with that matte yellow shade and i'm just gonna go ahead and pack it right here on the lid area yeah this is so pretty and so easy to do and then now just to darken everything up I'm gonna go in with bark and apply that right here in the outer corner these shadows are so easy to blend out and it's such an easy look that I need to see you guys recreating this look if you guys do just make sure you guys tag me and I will go ahead and see it 
So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it like this. Just an easy look with a pop of color, super pretty. And if you're scared to try color, I recommend you guys go ahead and do something like this. Super simple, but still colorful. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some winged liner because I've been liking it, how it looks. I'm just gonna be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Liner in the color black. Let's go ahead and wing this out. So it's lash time. I'm going to be using, you guys already know, one of my favorite ones. This is the Lash LA or the Lash Bar LA in style Heartbreaker. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this ones on. I already applied lash glue on them. Because you guys are wondering, I use the Kiss Strip Lash in, because it's latex free. If not, my eyes will be like burning, like completely burning. So let's just go ahead and apply this. I always tilt them like this so they fit my eye better. Make sure they're clean since my eyelashes want to be flying literally everywhere, you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and apply these. Okay. And then it's time for this one. I know a lot of you guys ask me how I can apply my lashes like that fast. But just know, you guys, in high school, I used to wear lashes every single day because I wanted to try so hard. And that's how I know how to apply them quick. But I just go like this. Make sure you guys bend them. And then apply, I guess, the middle first, and then the corners. See, and then I apply, the last one I always do, it's the inner corner. And there you guys go. That's how you apply lashes. Let's move on to the face, you guys. I have so much good stuff to try out for the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime it. I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So I don't really have a primer, you guys, that I completely recommend like 100% because I feel like not all primers really make your makeup last a long time. But this e.l.f. one, I don't think it makes your makeup last longer, but I do feel like it makes your pores look less visible, which I appreciate because I have a lot of pores right here in my face. I'm using the Heart Candy Glam of Flush Glam of Launch. Okay, I know I'm saying this wrong. You guys don't have to tell me. This is a full coverage foundation, 16 hour wear, and I'm in the shade Honey. And a lot of you guys told me to try this one out in my foundation video. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys check it out for all the oily skin beauties out there. So you guys told me to use this, recommended me, and I went ahead and buy it. So this is what it looks like. I thought it was going to be a pump. Okay, I think I picked up a good color. A lot of you guys told me this was going to be a good foundation. And you guys also recommended me the LA Girl. Not the LA Girl, the LA Color Foundation. So I need to go to Dollar General and do that. Let me know if you guys would like to see a Dollar General video. I've seen them and I really like watching them. So I'm thinking of doing one myself. And I'm just going to grab my beauty sponge. This is the Japanese one blend this out okay so far the coverage is there it does claim to be full coverage and it's there i have never tried this foundation i cannot believe i have any yet and it's only six dollars at walmart we're gonna see how this wears though because right now i'm really impressed by the color if you guys are mc35 all my foundation twins out there Honey, yeah, yeah, honey, it's our color. Look at this, it matches me perfectly. Let me go ahead and apply some concealer. I'm gonna be using the e.l.f. one in the shade Medium Beige. Keeping it really budget friendly here. So I'm applying concealer under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, and in my forehead. Okay, I'm just gonna let that sit a little bit. I also been loving at this KKW contouring pencil in the shade medium. What I've been doing is applying it in the back of my hand. Okay, just like that. And then I go in with that same beauty sponge and contour my cheeks right here. This just makes me look more glowy. And I feel like it contours my skin a lot more. I don't know if you guys saw that Huda came out or is coming out with a new setting spray. Let me know if you guys want me to try that one because it says that it's like a 12 hour wear inspired by drag queens. You guys already know those queens know how to make their makeup stay in place. 
so I really want to try it out. Let me know if you guys would like a review on it. So I'm using this one by Kylie. To be honest, I hate the packaging. I hate. The, I think the packaging looks really cheap. I don't really like this color of pink. I mean, it's beautiful. Something I would get on my nails. But when it comes to Kylie's packaging, I feel like she could have put in more work because some of her palettes have beautiful packaging, you know. So this one, she can work on it. And if we open it, it's just like the traditional one. Remember the Pacifica that we tried on the last time we tried new makeup on? That one had like a lid and i really liked it so i feel like she could have done the same thing with this one that's just my opinion so i'm gonna put some in the back of the lid hopefully this has no flashback and that's what the color beige looks like right there and we're gonna go ahead and apply this under my eye i'm also gonna apply some right here in the forehead area and this color you guys it's the perfect color for my skin tone and the type of color I like wearing. See how it doesn't really make my under eye stand out too much? I really like that. If you're lighter than me, I don't think you're gonna like this color. Stay with the translucent one. And I believe she has like a pink shade as well. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using my MAC C4 powder because I know this one always comes through and it just covers my pores a little bit more. But without it, I didn't even need it, you know? It's just something extra I like doing. Okay, so I went ahead and also bought the Kylie Cosmetics Bronzer. I've been wanting to try it out. You guys already know me. I always tell you guys about I'm a Kylie Cosmetics girl. I love collecting it. I just cannot stand this pink packaging. Like, it just looks so cheap, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this color right here. It's in the color Tequila Tan. And I'm just gonna be using my Target brush that I've been loving. This is the wide contouring brush. Let's go ahead and see. Seems pick and tear, tap excess. Oh, this is a so pretty color. And I did pull my wig a little bit more so I can get in the forehead area. This is definitely a pretty color. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the cheeks. I like doing this to clean up my bronzer a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this off. Right now, I'm liking this powder. It seems really nice, really easy to blend out. I haven't had any problem other than the packaging. I don't really like it. But on my face, honestly, everything looks good. Not super matte. I feel like it's more of a natural setting powder. Nothing too dramatic, which I think is perfect. For some days, and then some days I do want a more heavy, you know, super flawless setting powder. But so far, you know, I'm liking this one. I'm going to go ahead and apply some blush. I don't have a new blush palette, but I've been loving this one by BH Cosmetics. This is the Nude Blush Tank Color Palette. So I'm going to go in and select this color right here. And apply some on my cheeks. Really pretty color. Right now, I'm liking my makeup, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Liking how everything looks like. I haven't even done my makeup in a week. You know, I've been doing like that natural makeup, just mascara, nothing too full coverage. So I am living right now. I'm loving this. Me encanta. I just love makeup. It's like therapy for me, you know? So I'm gonna move on, you guys, to finishing up my lower lash line. Let me just pull this wig back down, you know? We're back to normal. I'm gonna be using the same palette, the same colors, everything the same. So I'm going in with the shade Brick first and I'm smudging that out. All right, and then once we have that smoky down there, I'm gonna go in with the shade Bark. And I'm grabbing that same brush. You guys wanna make sure you guys tap excess because these eyeshadows are super pigmented. And I'm just gonna put this right here under the eye area. You know, I can never go without my lower lash mascara. So let me apply that really quickly. So now all we have left to do is our lips. Let me just go ahead and spray my face really quickly using that new Kylie Jenner setting, um, what is this called? Setting spray. So this says gently shake and hold at arm's length and spray to two to three times. Blah, 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 blah. Do not spray gently into eyes or mouth. And this does claim to be a mattifying um, setting powder. I mean setting powder, setting spray. So let's see. Spray this here first. It does have a fragrance to it. it. Looks like soap. That's the best way I can describe it. But you guys, oh no. Why did I go like this and some of it came up? 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. While we let that dry, I'm gonna do my lips really quick. So I'm going in with the Morphe lip liner in the shade Sweet Tea. And then for lipstick today, I'm gonna be using the KKW in the shade 2. All right, so this is the final look I created using and testing a bunch of new makeup. Please let me know what you guys think in the comments below because I'm honestly in love with this look. I love how it's super matte. We didn't use any highlighter today, which I love, you guys. Summertime is pretty much here. It's pretty much going to be coming very soon. And my oily ass knows I cannot do shimmers on my face that much. So I really like this look. Super matte, super pretty. You know, you don't really need to wear highlight to make your face pop you can do that using you know lighter concealers contouring and blah 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 blah. but yeah anyways let's get started by reviewing the products that we did use in our face so i'm gonna start with this beautiful 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 palette this is the it's my ray ray palette i think this is such a good palette especially if you're barely getting into color super affordable and i love the packaging i love how it's small i do not like big palettes the more I collect makeup, the more I notice how much I hate bigger palettes. I just don't like them. The only one I do and will make the excuse for, it's my Jaclyn Hill one. Other than that, the other ones are just too bulky for me. But this one is just the perfect size, you know. Love the colors. Love how pigmented they were. Every single shadow I use blends it like a dream. And look how pretty, you guys. It's just a beautiful matte look. So I really like this pack. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I can really talk. I really like this palette. And if you guys are looking looking for a really good palette check this one out you guys are gonna like it and it also comes with a mirror so shout out to her really pretty girl and let's see i also move on to the face okay so thank you so much for everybody who recommended me this foundation i'm honestly so in love with it i hate wearing white nails because it gets foundation everywhere let me clean my nails really quick so this concealer right here i mean concealer this foundation is so bomb i'm in the shade honey definitely pick this one up if you guys are similar to my skin tone similar to my liking of foundation this is such a good foundation i really like it i'm gonna see how it wears throughout the day and then i'll keep you guys updated when it comes to the wear test but for now i really like it and i love the coverage of it i only use two pumps well not two pumps i just use two scoops of foundation and i'm good to go and then let's see i tried out the kylie powder so the packaging you guys already know don't like it but the actual powder it looks really good i'll go ahead and insert a picture right here with flash so you guys can see the flashback and how it just works with um photography pictures so that's what it looks like right here really pretty you guys i really like how the setting powder looks i also like how it applies on my skin i really like it it might be the color that i picked up that i really like this is in the color beige and i just feel it works for my skin tone works for my likings i don't really like a really bright under eye all the time i really like it and i'm gonna keep using it it doesn't have any flashback it's not super matte and it doesn't add that extra coverage to it. So if you guys are like me and love that full coverage when it comes to everything, you're not going to really like this one. I still think the Maybelline Fit Me powder is bomb and nothing can replace that one. But if you guys have been eyeing the Kylie one, I feel like you guys are going to like it. Super light under the eye, nothing too cakey, just a natural finish powder. So Kylie did really good when it came to this powder. You know, she's more of a natural girl too. Well as natural as she can get and let's see i also tried out her bronzer and the packaging i'm not even going to get into it i do like how it has a mirror though it's perfect if you guys are going to be traveling and the color is really beautiful as well i'm definitely going to keep using it gave me that really pretty soft bronze effect so shout out to this bronzer i really really like it but let me keep using it before you know you guys go and spend your heart earned money let me see if i like it and then you guys go and spend your money on it i think that's all i tried out new i'm trying to figure this out oh the setting spray let me keep trying it out then i'll see i don't know if it's gonna keep me more mad i don't know if it's just a lie but it definitely took away the excess powder out of my face so that's a good powder i mean that's a good spray for that and i think that's all the new stuff i tried out you know me buying all this stuff makes it feel like i bought way more makeup 
But yeah, guys, <laughs> that's pretty much all I have for today's video. I am super happy to be back here on YouTube. You guys already know I love YouTube. I love filming for you guys. I love interacting with you guys. So thank you so much for everybody's patience with me. I know I don't always post a lot, but trust me, I'm always thinking of new video ideas. And this week, you guys, I have a lot of content coming up for you because my school, my semester is almost over. So yeah, good luck to everybody out there on finals. Congrats to class of 20. 2019 and yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did share this video with all your friends and family members and as always i'll see you guys very soon on the next one bye guys